All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills, if I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, that pretty good job. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in... Uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, people. the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. Know. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor, and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out Striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Oh, collar tie. Look at how he drives the knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Mago Medov gets caught with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick. 
Nurmagomedov gets in the clinch yet again. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Guppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, nice jab there by Nermago Medoff. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh. Nermago Medoff's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Wow. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Timing his shots nice here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. And just misses with that big right hand. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, single collar tie here. Huge D land. 10 seconds to go in the round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right on my face. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting okay, underway. Ready? Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. We have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! oh he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Nice high kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. So 31 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, not the most efficient effort today. The numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Yet again, they will clinch here. Punch is blocked. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nurmago Medov's got the tie clinch now. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Of 
effective strike there by Nermago Meta. Straight right hand, no good. Very tricky. Shows that body. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nermago Meta. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. All right, single collar tie now, and both guys really throwing with authority. Nice punch there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not gonna trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was gonna be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust right, and ready? stop him from landing these over and over. Third round underway. He has a commitment to kick tonight, and it shows. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Single collar tie now. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Checks that leg kick. Nice punch by Nermago Medov. Let's go. Set up that takedown. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Right hand on point. Beautiful kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Big knee there. Fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Beautiful strike. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Jeez Louise. to go. Big power shot there. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Are you ready? You ready? 
Let's go, guys. Fight. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at him drive his hand into the open body with that body kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pivot. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Ooh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and try to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai punch. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Takedown defense holds up. Look at the control of the posture as he land that knee. Three minutes. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Got the single collar tie. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out there. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Ooh. What a fight so far. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over, and gladly, Gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man's just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Nermago Medov. Lance with the right hand. Well, missed on that one. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. <laughs> Slips the left hand. Hands high, hands high. Nice leg kick. Oh, follow time. And he caught the kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Less than three minutes to go now in this fifth and final round. 
His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game. And if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Nurmago Medov's knee strike is blocked. Back to the feet now. Punch lands. Let's get some offense. Let's get those. All right, he engages in the single collar side. Oh, he to the head. I need you to get that thing down now. Oh, misses with the jab. Under one minute remains in round five. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, all right. He's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded pounded into the mat, or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Khabib the Eagle, Nirvana Mera. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the 